Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to talk about BitLocker. So if you're stuck with the screen here and it says enter the recovery key to get going, then pretty much you only have two options what you can do. All right, let me share with you what are the options that you can do. The first thing you need you can try to do is to log into your Microsoft account. So option one, log into Microsoft account to get your BitLocker recovery key and it is 48 digits of codes okay so what you can do is go ahead and open up your browser meaning that you can use google chrome or firefox or microsoft edge open up your browser and go ahead and google and search this microsoft bitlocker recovery login all right so let's click on the first one it says finding a bitlocker recovery key click on that and here's the article that is written by microsoft it explain to you what you can do here finding a BitLocker recovery key in Windows um, where can you find it and this is a little video that you can play and watch and see what it says okay so I'm going to let you do your own research and meaning that you you watch the video and learn what you can do but I'm gonna jump right into um, the important part here which means that you should click on the link here all right, it says HTTPS account Microsoft.com. Click on the link, it will direct you to, to this Microsoft login. Uh, here, it should be your email address. And once you enter the email address and a password, and you should see a screen that looks something like this. Okay, this screen looks something like this. It has a 48 digits of codes. Enter the 48 digits codes into your laptop or your desktop. So go ahead and put in that codes right there and click continue. All right, let's just say you put in the codes and you click continue and the computer say invalid or incorrect codes. In other words, that tells you this computer or your computer is registered with a different Microsoft account. So you may have one email address, two email address, three, I don't know how many email addresses that you have, it's probably the computer that you try to enter the code is not belong to that computer it belongs to a different computer all right so let's just say that you have tried entering the code and whatnot and you still can't get in so what are the options that you have then option one if it doesn't work for you the only thing left is option number two all right so option two what you can do is reset the computer back to factory settings no data available meaning when you reset the computer back to factory settings all your data will be wiped clean so in other words like your pictures your documents your uh, turbo tags your quickbooks whatever your music whatever data that you have on the computer it will be all gone and wiped clean all right so in my case i do not have the microsoft account I do not have the email address. I have no clue what is the recovery key going to be. So I'm left with option two would be resetting the computer back to factory settings. So to reset the computer back to factory settings, you need to have this USB installer, so, right? You need to have the window USB installer. You can buy one of these from Amazon and to fresh install your computer with the license key is provided or you can make your own usb uh, what you can do is you can go to microsoft website um, try to google and search for microsoft um, oem usb installer or downloads and whatnot download the usb installer into a thumb drive and we're going to select option two by resetting the computer back to factory settings all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this thing in, okay, and I'm going to power off my computer. That is the power button there, and I'm going to turn off the computer, okay? Or you can just say turn it off, okay? So I'm turning off the computer. Now to turn on the computer, I'm going to pr press the power back on, and I'm going to tap on F9. All right, so for HP computer. Um, you press F9 to select the boot device. All right, so I was tapping F9 and I'm gonna select send this. So the first one here is the internal drive 
of your laptop I mean of my laptop and the second of oops what did I do let me cancel escape so sorry this is the touch screen um, I'm gonna select the second option which is the USB hard disk for my send disk right I click enter and I'm gonna select the first one 64-bit Windows setup and I'll be fresh install Windows on the laptop here so that the laptop can be usable again for me right so I have no option one I have to go with option two this is pretty brand new computer I don't care about the pictures I don't care about the documents I just want the laptop to be back running again so I select option two in my case but for your case might be different so uh, let's click next oh now it's not a touch screen now it's not a trackpad which makes my life more difficult but it's okay you still can use the keyboard to navigate all right so that's pretty much it what i wanted to explain i'm pretty much sure that you know what to do here um, just follow the, the instruction on the screen and um, select custom and it should have a disk here um, this the, the 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 c drive for you to reinstall the windows uh, for some reason i don't have it i need to update some of the driver on my usb but you should get the idea so what i'm trying to say is um, option one is to log into your microsoft account uh, to gain access to that and able to um, you know to have all your data back in and and have the computer usable again but since you've uh, if you do not have that option one then the only option you can do is to go with option two by resetting the computer all right so i hope that you can um, can get into this microsoft um, account once you log in and uh, maybe gain access to your um, the recovery key all right so what i'm going to do is i am going to list the link in the description below uh, where it will direct you to microsoft account so check the link in the description below um, definitely um, you know you want to do some research and and, and whatnot but other than that um, if you find the video is helpful please like and share uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe and of course if you have any question regarding about bitlocker how to get in and whatnot comment below i do read your comments and i do uh, try to answer and help you through the chat all right so feel free to comment below ask me questions and i hope that you can find a recovery key and get through with this bit locker thanks for watching until next time bye now